The plant adopts advanced CIL process. Crude ores with maximum particle size of 200 mm will be transferred to crude ore bin by truck and screened by Grizzly on top of crude ore bin to prevent lump ores and other things from getting into the crude ore bin. Materials entered into crude ore bin will be evenly fed into single-stage jaw crusher by feeder, which crushes ores to under 50 mm. The crushed materials will be transferred to vibrating screen by belt conveyor for separation of ores. It's under 10 mm will go to fine ore bin, while oversized ores larger than 10 mm will go into two-stage crusher, which crushes ores smaller than 50 mm and larger than 10 mm. Crushed materials will be fed into cone crusher for crushing, and the particle sizes of the products will reach under 10 mm. The products will be fed to belt conveyor between single-stage crusher and vibrating screen by through and then fed into vibrating screen for screening along with products crushed by single stage crusher. This crushing process boasts of relatively low cost, simple configuration and small particle size of products which allow it to be extensively used by mines at the moment. Ores in fine ore bin will be fed to belt conveyor by feeder which will transfer ores to single stage ball mill the ball mill uses rolling bearings, which can save 30% of energy compared with sliding bearings. Motor and reducer are well-known brands, while electrical components are manufactured by Schneider. To process oxidized gold ores with fine disseminated grain size of gold, two-stage closed circuit grinding process is adopted. Normally single-stage grinding and classification operation uses great ball mill with spiral classifier and two-stage grinding and classification operation uses cyclone group with overflow ball mill, where resistant materials are used for lining of cyclone, which increase its service life by 40%. To reach the pH value required for leaching period, lime milk prepared shall be added at the stage of grinding. Cyclone overflow will go through vibrating screen for removal of rejects and then goes into modified high-efficiency thickener Underflow of cyclone will go back to two-stage ball mill for grinding again. 1. Degassing tank has been added to eliminate bubble particle attachment and realize parachute-like sedimentation. 2. Overflow weir has been modified to be serrated overflow weir to enhance the situation of local suction caused by out-of-level overflow weir. Thickened pulp will be transferred to vibrating screen on leaching tank by underflow pump of thickener for second removal of rejects, and the pulp will enter into pre-leaching tank after removal of rejects. Active carbon will be added into the last carbon leaching tank and brought to previous carbon leaching tank by air lifter. Saturated gold-loaded carbon will be transferred to desorption and electrolysis workshop from the second leaching tank through screen. To ensure sufficient leaching and absorption of gold, air compressors are required to blow air into each leaching tank. NACN and lime milk need to be added into each leaching and absorption tank. High temperature and high pressure process is used for desorption and electro winning. Gold loaded carbon will be fed into carbon storage and transportation tank and then fed into desorption column. Stripping liquid will be transferred to heater for heating through stripped liquid circulating pump. The heated stripping liquid will flow into desorption column from bottom inlet and pregnant solution will flow into electrolytic cell through filter after desorption. AU will sediment from the cathode side and become cathode mud. Gold mud will be dug out if it reaches a certain amount and then transferred to smelting workshop Electrolyte will go back to storage tank of stripping liquid, while lean carbon will go to active carbon regeneration kiln for regeneration after desorption. The activated active carbon will go back to the process for continuous use. 1. The complete set of high temperature and high pressure desorption and electro winning equipments have adopted liquid level control system, temperature control system, and automatic control system. 2. If the grade of gold-loaded carbon reaches 3000 GT, the desorption rate can be over 96%.
Gold mud will be transferred to smelting workshop after desorption and then fed into reaction kettle after separation of silver by nitric acid. Nitric acid will be added into the reaction kettle and it will be filtered again after reaction. Filtrate will be fed into two pound reaction kettle. AG can be obtained after silver precipitation and displacement and 99.9% .9 AG can be obtained through high frequency smelting furnace. Residues of one pound reaction kettle will be fed into three pound reaction kettle and aqua regia will be added as well for aqua regia gold solution. Filtrate will be fed into four pound reaction kettle after filtering for displacement of AU and 99.9% .9 AU can be obtained through high frequency smelting. Exhaust gas and waste fluid generated through entire smelting process can meet discharge standard after treatment, which can significantly reduce the damage to environment. This process is the mainstream ore concentration process for oxidized ores in today's world, and the whole CIL process boasts of relatively high AU and AG recovery which can reach over 90%.